Alright, hey guys, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to share you some of my basic tips and tricks to create an awesome artwork in Photoshop. And if it's your first time, then yes, you know what to do, right? Please do consider subscribing my channel. There are a lot to cover inside the tutorial. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop, so let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And now right after that let's drag and drop this background image right over here. Alright let's make it a little smaller so for that press Ctrl and T and let's uh, make it smaller just like so and let's keep it right over here and then uh, let's uh, drag and drop another image right over here just like so now let's convert it as a smart object Control G let's make it bigger just just like so and now before starting designing uh, let's create some assets and for that I'm going to create a brand new artboard and again for that press control and and let's go for kind of similar size that should be fine and uh, let's create a rectangle just like so and then let's make it rounded yep let's change the fill color to kind of yellow color yep like that Let's make a copy, Control J. Let's make it a little smaller, just like so. And from here, uh, let's add a stroke on this one. And let's go for a kind of darker color. Yep, for this stroke, yes, just like so. And let's drop down the fill to zero, just like that. And again, let's add some text right control T let's bring it inside and let's make it a smaller I guess yep just like around that should be good and let's add another rectangle just like so control T let's make it a little bigger yep like that let's change the text color to kind of darker color yep just like so and then let's drag and drop another image let's see yep let's drag and drop this image right over above this rectangle and let's create clipping max press ctrl and t let's make it smaller just just like so right and then and then let's add a uh, one more text right around here control G let's make it bigger just like so yep like that all right now let's add another rectangle just like here and then uh, let's uh, let's change the stroke uh, to kind of darker color yep and then let's change the stroke size to maybe like uh, three pixels should be good and let's uh, change the feel to none uh, let's make a copy control J control T let's uh, make it smaller yep and then let's go for kind of a similar color and let's change the fill to 100% yep you know what like for this stroke I guess I'll just change the color this one and for this one let's uh, change it to none yep just like so let's add some more text all right 
right now let's drag and drop this logo right over here let's close this one and let's make it a little smaller Control t just like so yep and then let's make a one more rectangle i guess and let's keep this right around here and let's drag and drop another image this one right above above this one and right click create clipping max Control t let's make it bigger just like so and then let's keep everything inside a group uh, Control g let's rename it as an assets and then let's drag and drop this right around here let's make it smaller Control t and let's keep it maybe just like so right and then let's drag and drop another background right around here and let's keep it under this layer let's make it smaller Control t and yep let's keep it just like so change this layer to black and white so for that press ctrl and u and let's drop down the saturation to minus 100 and let's change the blending mode to yeah let's keep the screen and let's drop down the opacity just like so yeah let's keep it like that and let's uh, keep these inside a group control G let's create a layer max go to the brush and I'm going to use uh, this uh, weight brush Guns pattern and let's go for another brush uh, I will just go for yep, this one and let's erase some of these parts. let's keep it like that for now and anyway we're going to tweak it later now let's drag and drop another image this one right around here now let's change the color overlay to kind of lighter color and let's keep it under this layer Um, let's do a color adjustment for this layer. So select this one go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter And uh, the Very first thing let's uh, drop down the highlights. Let's increase the clarity increase the texture I drop down the saturation and Let's see Let's increase the contrast a little bit. Yep let's increase the shadows just like so and if let's keep it like that for now and let's click on okay so this is what we got now let's add some other text control G let's make it bigger and let's change the font color to kind of a similar color this one and let's change the font uh, to yeah this one let's make it a little smaller just like so and let's make a copy Control J let's keep it under this layer Control T let's make it bigger 
just like so and let's add a stroke let's change the stroke color to yeah kind of yeah kind of this one looks good to me and let's drop down the field to zero yep let's keep it like that and again let's add some other text In drag, let's make a copy, let's move it all the way to the right around here, and let's merge everything. Control Shift Alt and E. Let's go to filter, let's go to camera raw filter again, and let's uh, increase the shadows again, let's increase the clarity, let's go to the effects tab, and let's add some gray just like so and let's increase the vignette and let's click on okay and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye